Well, so how did it go today? How did you, how do you think you did? How, how uh, it was awesome. Honestly, I haven't uh, done really workouts like that in front of teams. I haven't had any of their workouts. I have some lined up later, but uh, uh, this was good. It's a good experience. I think uh, it's organized the whole event just, you know, really well. Uh, it seems like I've never been to IMG, so, you know, I think this is a great place. They got great facilities. Uh, it's honestly a little nerve-wracking at first, you know, when you kind of have all those people kind of watching you there shoot. So it kind of maybe a little tense, but once you start like getting used to it, getting the flow, it's kind of it's kind of easier. What uh, what is it about IMG and the facilities here? Ah, uh, you know, I've been so I went to Arizona State, I went to Rice, and I went for one year at Florida. And I'll tell you, some college facilities don't have uh, what they have here at IMG. Uh, so I think that separates. I know at Rice we didn't have a weight room. We had a weight room probably a quarter size. Uh, the one they have over here, you know, the basketball facility is great. Uh, it just seems like a great setup, and I'm, you know, I'm happy I got to see it, you know, firsthand. What's a skill you think you can really get them to zoom in on here that you have and you can show at the next level? Uh, yeah, you know, just you know, toughness, shooting, uh, rebounding, you know, the defense. I mean, all those things kind of into one thing, kind of the three and D thing uh, that's been going on around a lot. Um, so that's kind of what I try to portray and like show those guys, and it's just how I play. Uh, it's not like I, I try really hard; it's kind of coming natural. What do you, uh, what do you like about your uh, one year in Gainesville? Everything. I couldn't tell you one bad thing uh, about Florida. I came there. Uh, I was there for about just six months, even. Uh, they greeted me, you know, the guys, the coaching staff. Uh, like I was there for three years uh, before that. Uh, and it's, you know, the relationships I've built there and the people I met there, you know, just great people all over the place. I think you're the only Gator that played all 34 games, so mm -hmm. that, what kind of a, have you done any sort of fitness to allow yourself to play that long and now you'll be kind of equipped to yeah, you know, I, game you play more games? I, I take pride in that, you know, I don't think I've ever missed a college practice or a college game in five years uh, that I've been in college basketball, you know, I kind of take pride in that. Uh, kind of taking care of my body. There's bumps and bruises all the time. Uh, but you, you just got to try, get with the trainers, get with the people there to help you out. Uh, and as long as you stay on top of that, you know, you, you'll be in a good position. Uh, tell me about your journey to this point. What was kind of, you know, your journey to get here? <laughs> <laughs> do you want the beginning? Or do you want the condensed version when I got Let's to the go States? Let's go from the beginning. From the beginning. Uh, <laughs> so I was born in Russia, and, to, and I lived there until I was about six. And then I moved to Israel with my mom and dad. Uh, moved to Israel, there was a big movement. There was a lot going on in Russia at the time. Uh, and we, we went to Israel, migrated there. Uh, kind of didn't really have anybody to help us out, struggle for a bit. Uh, and then at about 14, I moved, I moved away from home to a basketball academy in Israel for two years. And after that, I took it for myself. I told my parents that I want to move and play here basketball in the States. Uh, so I came to South Florida to Sagemont High School uh, by myself, lived with a host family for two years uh, at 16. And, you know, from there, uh, stayed two years again, met some great people. My high school coach is like one of my best friends uh, to this point, beyond him being my coach, uh, been helping me out a lot uh, through this process. Um, went to Arizona State my freshman year, uh, transferred uh, after one year to Rice, set out one year and played two. Uh, and then Last year at Rice, kind of had a decision to make whether I want to go pro or whether I want to do a grad year. Uh, so I was kind of in between, and then I decided to give this thing one one last go around uh, to kind of stay in the States, give myself the best shot, uh, making my dreams come true. Uh, that's when I went to Florida uh, for one year. That's the condensed kind of version. So How's it next for you? I mean, do you feel like the NBA is next, or do you feel like? Maybe you're gonna have to kind of grind through it a little bit before you get there. Yeah, you know, I want I want it to be next. Uh, you know, back in Israel, you know, if if I did go back to Israel, I have to do military service uh, back there. So th this right now is kind of me uh, trying to you know uh, make it to the NBA. So kind of so I can represent Israel in the NBA and give them another player. Uh, and that's my dream. That's always been my dream since I started playing basketball at 13. Uh, so that's why I stayed here for another year. I could have could have been playing pro after you know one year of college or even before that. Uh, but this has always kind of been my dream. So I'm I'm just trying to give it my best shot. Do you have any relationships with Omri or Gal? I know I know Omri. I actually seen him down in L.A. where I train. Uh, it was funny. We went to the same Mediterranean place, which is like Israeli food, and consequently he came there with his family. So I just know him. Just you know, we say what's up to each other. That's a good guy. He's a really good guy. He has a cute daughter too.
<laughs> how, uh, how difficult was it for you to uh, come here to the States to South Florida by yourself? It's, it was a change, you know, it was a challenge. I remember sitting on that plane when I left my parents, kind of, you know, that's when it kind of hit me, like, you know, like I'm not, I'm not going to see my parents every day anymore. I'm not going to be home. I'm not, uh, I'm going to kind of have to take care of myself. You know, my mom cries every time I leave to the airport. Uh, and that's when it hit me. And then when I got there, first my impressions were kind of like in the movies. Because all, all we have overseas, you know, we watch the movies in the States, and then that's what I base it off. So, so when I got there, I see all these signs, like, you know, I got to Miami, I believe, the airport, and I see the sign like Miami, everything. And I was like, whoa, like, this is, I see golf courses. I never see golf courses in Israel. Uh, it's, it, it's just been like an incredible journey, to be honest. And I've met like so many people across, but it's such a big adjustment. Uh, I remember at 16, uh, I struggled with it for a little bit. Yeah, I was going to say, what was the, did you ever think about giving up and just going back home? Or? Many times, many times. But after my freshman year at Arizona State, I was kind of like, you know, wow, why do I need this? Why? Well, I can just go back home, play play pro, make decent money. But I kind of, I, I like to think of myself mentally tough. And I know a lot of Israeli players who came through college and came for one year. And then, you know, they left. Everybody leaves after one year. Uh, and I kind of wanted to be tougher than that. I, want, I didn't want to be that just another guy, you know, tried it and then kind of just went back to the same old, same old thing. So th that's what I really wanted to get out of it.